So since we're in day 13, I thought we could talk a little bit about luck in research. Now, one of the most famous kind of lucky discoveries or accidental discoveries was that of penicillin. And you probably know some version of the story, which goes something like Alexander Fleming leaving a sample out over the weekend and it gets contaminated with mold and penicillin. What's missed out from that story was the fact that when he came back to the lab and he noticed that his cultures had these little spots of mold, is that he didn't just throw them away, he got curious. And he looked and noticed that around these spots of mold, the bacterial cultures weren't growing. It was inhibiting the bacterial growth. And it went from being this curious little thing to him then doing further experiments, a lot more work. The real work happened um, after that accidental initial curious thing. And then eventually after several years it got turned into penicillin. So the key ingredients were not the luck, but the skill and the curiosity to um, investigate what was happening and then recognizing the potential for that to actually have this huge impact on medicine and ultimately lead to the Nobel Prize. So in any kind of research, there's always like an element of chance. There are always um, opportunities which can be kind of random, but the key ingredients are the curiosity and the skill to be able to actually exploit them. So you could have all the luck in the world, but if you don't have those things, then you don't have anything. Um, likewise, things can go very, very wrong, but if you have curiosity and skill, then you can get through those things. Those are the key ingredients, not luck.